it is quarter to six. Back to school coverage continues all week long. Students will be looking for ways to stay cool. Today is a return to the classroom for the first time this year. Now it's raising an old debate, though, about whether August is too warm to send students back into local schools, many of which are just not air conditioned. I've been news reporter Alexander Leslie is live in East Greenwich now with more. So at the top of this hour, we talked about early dismissals due to hot temperatures. That includes right here in East Greenwich. Now, Summer Island lawmakers think that this is all avoidable. Now, Senator Lou Raptakis says having a few days of school before a three-day weekend for Labor Day just doesn't make any sense. As he campaigns for re-election, he's also planning to reintroduce a bill. It would require all of Rhode Island's public schools to start after the Labor Day holiday. He says it's just common sense, especially when you factor in the weather. This is the opposite of winter. We don't send kids when the temperatures are below zero or snow blizzard. We don't. We, we, there's no school. If the temperatures are very cold in the wintertime, we, we close school. We should be doing the same thing in the, in the summertime. I mean, these temperatures are very, very extremely dangerous. Now, the senator says his bill also focuses on consistency and saying that the same start day every year would allow people to plan accordingly for summer's va summer vacations. This is the third year in a row that he has pushed for such a bill. Reporting live in East Greenwich, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.